Hey, what is going on guys? Just a quick announcement before we get this next battle on the way. Fridays, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be doing live casts. Yes, indeed, I will be going live on Fridays. So if you want to stick around, if you have nothing to do on Friday, come on by. Enjoy the time of me casting it live because I'll probably be messing up. I have no way of post-editing anything. So if you want to hang out with me and just, you know, bombard me with questions and or talk some shit and enjoy some pretty damn good cast I mean if you have some replays you want me to show off send them over my way you already know where here it is the email and uh, yeah like I said Fridays 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time going live right here stay tuned and see you then peace hey what is going on YouTube Two sketchy coming at you and I got you a 1v1 here on comments pass which is some heavy hitters some top tier competitors Bobby Bu versus Saya. Now Saya and Bobby Bu both are on the top of the leaderboards currently, like world leaderboards. I'm talking about Bobby Bu is rank number one in Space Marines, rank one in Eldar, and rank one in Orcs. Guess who number two is? Yep, Saya. Saya is rank two of Eldar, rank two Space Marines, and rank two orcs who she is currently playing as so on the bottom side of the map we do have saya as mentioned with storm boys gore guts and beauty the morgan out for the late game her doctrines are going to be megan Ops command better shout tons of bombs and healing scrap on the other side of the map towards the north we do have bob you but in the green with space marines diomedes ironclad dreadnought the new elite that just has been released was that a right sentence? Felt weird coming out of my mouth, but we're gonna continue anyways with Kill Team Iron Maul, but no drop pods in this replay, unfortunately. However, we do have some Tac Marines Doctrines here. Holy, this early game is gonna be horrendous for Saya. I'm telling you that tireless frag grenades and uh, fire on the move. Good thing, fortunate and or unfortunate, depends who you're voting for here. <laughs> tireless does not stack with fire on the move, so you can't move as fast. You know what? You should know how that works. So tireless out of combat, it makes you run faster, and then you can run and shoot at the same time. However, running and shooting obviously puts you in combat. You get the point. All right. With that being said, let's undo the fog of war, resume the game, and check out what these players have brought to the table today. Starting build is gonna be uh, just attack marine out of the stronghold, and one being queued up. As you can tell, two are being built. One in here, and one inside the drop pot. Let's check out the bottom side of the map as we do have Saya opening up with two boys. And uh, no drop pods, obviously, because uh, they're just going to come out the, uh, the war camp. We do have that first Gretchen that you are spawned with, building a uh, boys hut near the shield generator, so you're able to produce a lot of units and or just units and keep this thing safe over time. Do have a uh, capping going on. No sketchy caps. Technically, this would have been a sketchy cap, <laughs> but uh, so far we're just capturing our respected areas. Get an economy going for both sides. There it is. Nice little rec gen. Slow and easy. Looks like we have uh, the first squad of tax moving pretty aggressive towards the middle here, making sure Saya is not taking that point. However, we do have the boys here capturing the bottom side. So each half captured their respective points. However, these tax marines. Look at this positioning. So you can get that information early. However, the sneaky grunts are sneaky. Figuring out where they're at. The combat does engage. However, you have to up. There it is. Versing Space Marines. You have to be aware of wherever you initiate that first, first fight at. You are going to get a bunch of metal dropping from the sky. And there goes the first casualty of the game. It is going to be a Gretchen. We have a Watt Tower up as well. So she was able to build a Voice Hut and a Watt Tower under two minutes. So that's... Got to respect that. We do have boys shouting as well. Currently on the map, we have a lot of map control for Bob U. Bob U. stepping around this big old rock in the middle. The wad does go off. Here comes some angry boys and a shooter. A lot of gruts are being built as well. Looks like she's not going to engage in this and or doesn't know where he is. She's kind of walking back and forth trying to figure out where to go with this. Angry horde of orcs. Looks like Bob Yubu finally wants to engage on this, figuring out where she's at because she was walking over his territory. Here comes the standard, but she's gonna just walk this off. Not good usage of him, but good decision on trying to. Whoa. Doctrine Chapel being built down here. Talk about aggressive. 
We have a bunch of attack marines. That doctrine chapel is gonna be get built, 100%. Nice little fight. I don't think anyone's in danger just yet. She's trying to get into this heavy cover. Nicely done here. In fact, the servitor is actually on his way. For a second, I was like, why is he being so aggressive? But he's gonna stall out this cap on his heavy cover. This boy is taking a lot of damage. Looks like these tactical marines are all focusing on him while this servitor is buying enough time. Oh, the body block on here to prevent him from going in there and heavy cover is going to go to Saya. Saya's nicely held up in there, however, there you go, heavy bolters. <laughs> Building this down here is so ballsy, but the fact that he has so many doctrines going for himself, these guys have nothing to mess with. That will rock your world early. That will slowly soak your body flip you inside out. I don't know where that came from, but I hate going against a lot of tactical movies early. They hurt. I'm trying to get them to heavy cover as fast as possible. How are we going to take half of that damage already? And these boys are going to try to step up and try to initiate on this. We do have a listening post shooting down as well, but once these heavy bulgers got set up, look at the damage. Oh, barely making out with them boys. Listening post still poking at these guys. These heavy bulgers not in range. I don't know what he's focusing on. Uh, four minute mark means the two drops can come out. Do have a two drop for Saya as well, but Saya's not calling in the Storm Boys just yet. I think she's gonna be able to trade this for another one because I'm looking at the map right now. We have a Gretchen here and a Shooter Boy being sent mid. So hopefully being able to trade this resource point. Unfortunately, losing the listing post. So that's a bunch of resources lost. Requisition generator lost. Can't really turn on that and or defend it much because there's just so much firepower behind these space greens. Especially with the heavy bolt way in the back. Really well defended. There's nothing that can get back there currently. Maybe if you went with the uh, truck build flying in some boys back there, but it doesn't seem to be the focus without a Daga Hut being up. These guys are just sacrificial and buying some time. As Bobby View is capturing this point. And harass <laughs> the orc war camp down here that was built. Looking up north now, we have these shooter boys Heavy creeping. Deployed. And then uh, a correction squad sent towards the east. Sorry, that's west. My directions are all jacked up as flamers are going off for kill team iron mark. Putting these boys under some fire and shooter. Nearly killing off two squads of tack marines. But the good micro is going to keep them alive. One boy definitely died. Let's check out what the uh, current roster is. We have a shooter up here and a shooter down here. And that's about it. Now, as you can tell, he puts his units in melee mode. There's an F switch right here. There's a toggle button. Oh, man. That was so damn smart. It lets you go through the shield of the Watt Tower and deal damage to it, ignoring the shield completely. See the shield right here? If you can get some melee units into that, ignore the shield that's being built and or built at the current wah moment, I guess you can say, and you will not deal damage to the shield, you will just deal damage straight to the wah tower. So really, really well done here. Putting them in melee mode and just beating on that wah tower. So we have uh, currently two shooters. That's actually three shooters. <laughs> Servitor going in melee mode. Buying some time for these taxes. Step up and try to deal some damage to them. Looks like they came out of a drop pod because their shield is up. There's a drop pod. Indeed, they did come out. And now, chasing off the shooter boy squad. Looks like these guys are going to follow up on this. Keeping my eyes on this map constantly. Trying to figure out what these players are thinking about. It looks like he is going to be able to cut the shooter boy squad off. Maybe he's going to be able to make it up, but... Mm, I don't think so. That little stall right there, pathing was strange, and that is enough time for Bobby B to clean that unit up. We have a hell of a lot of shooters going on here. No Storm Boys yet. Looks like she might want to get, or definitely want to get Warbus Gore Guts up in this fight, because Warbus is going to be able to uh, definitely help out with this mass amount of units of Tactical Marines, just kind of stepping up, taunting them, Spitting Claw, and all that stuff, so. Now regaining her respective point again. It's been a while, but as you can tell, look at the map control of Bob. You currently so many red 
points and red dots. Now he's going to be able to take this back, setting some attacks mid. No elite point generators are up currently for either side. That's this wreck gen, that's this wreck gen that's really yelling in my ear about. And uh, Kill Team Armor are kind of just backing it up. Going to be able, oh I was about to say, going to be able to teleport them up and utilize them as soon as possible. We do have a wad going off. Maybe trying to get offensive here. We have Borguts as well. Borguts would be a good time. Heck, they're reading my mind. Gorguts looks like it is going to be able to get summoned here. Now I'm looking at this, I'm like, wow, this looks really, really familiar. Is she going to be able to pull off the Gore Bombs combo? <laughs> the Gore Bombs combo is something that I actually uploaded. I will put a link right up here somewhere. Should pop up, or I'll put it at the end of the video. Gore does initiate on this. Look at all these bombs coming out of these shooter boys. Uh, gotta respect the drop pots, however. Kill Team Armor is back. Vortex grenade comes down. We gotta be careful here. They're not upgraded with flame assist yet, but if they get upgraded, this is gonna be a ton of damage. Looks like Kill Team Armor trying to evade Gore Guts. A ton of damage coming up out of the shooter boys. Frag knocking back Gorguts now in retreat mode. Trying to peel Gorguts and Gorguts trying to peel at the same time. Still grenades falling down. CCing the hell out of this war boss. Look at the counter grenades. Throwing grenades everywhere. And as this is happening, look at the minimap. There's dots everywhere. Things are being capped. Things are being harassed. Looks like she's going to be able to make it out just fine. Just being super annoying with these tack marines. Going inside the stealth, losing vision, and then the watch tower is going to be able to uh, defend this point and make him back up indeed. But we have a blue dot right here, just kind of sitting there poking at this. We have a blue dot over here as well. Not in cover though, I think Bob you, you can see this. I'm actually kind of curious. Nope, he has no vision of that. But the servitor might. For some reason. A drop pod is available. Diami's got sent over here just to make sure, you know what, she's not going to be able to take that point. The majority of Bobby Abuse squad currently is mid, denying whatever resources she had. And now moving down bottom, looks like this resource point <laughs> and or elite generator point is uh, Tactical ooh, trying ready to sneak out the gruts out of there just in time, but gaining this Return information, seeing how many units there are, might be enough for her to initiate on something like this. Look at all these shooter boys, though. Hold up, can I group them? I know I can. Where's my control? Okay, I guess I can. Well, there's a ton of them. There's definitely a lot of them. Did she lose it? Looks like she kind of lost the information of where they went. They're pretty spread out. The majority of them are down here now engaging on these three squads of shooter boys. Here comes some nades. One of them is gone. Throwing a grenade right back. Indeed, Gorguts, however, is initiating on Diomedes and Kill Team Armor. Gorguts is going to need some help. And help indeed. Here they come. Tons of bombs. Nice little combo here with the Q first and then Spinning Fall coming out. However, knock him on. Kill Team Armor in so much danger. Here comes the grenades. Nicely dodged a good micro. Trying to get the hell out of there. Damn, he's trying to land some melee shots. The cops are driving by outside. Sorry about that, but shit is going down. Gorgut's missing the Q. Damn, he's still trying to step up and try to initiate on this melee so his units can gain some shields. It looks like she's going to be just safe. Throwing out three frags at the same time. Diamond says, no, I don't want none of that. Kill Team Armor almost took a dive. There would have been good trade here. One elite for no elite. Storm Boys are now available. I wonder if she's going to be able to call them in. And then just as I say that, indeed she is. And so now we have some Storm Boys. She's either going to be able to use them in combat as well and or send them out to harass certain points while she's fighting them. Looks like we do have a retreat going on here for Bob Yu Yu, Bob Yu Yu. Being very careful with this tax, knowing when to engage and when not to. However, we have a lot of wah going off. And uh, currently looking at the economy difference. So this is Saya with 400, almost 500 requisition and 90 power. And this is Bob Yu Yu with 200 and uh, 
150 power. So Storm Boys did go to the left side. Looks like Gretchen's are finding out what they're gonna get themselves involved in here. And Gore got spitting claw does come out, blocking the grenade. Nicely done there. Missing some of those, but the damage still being dealt. Looks like Drop Pot is coming down. Gorgon still able to spin his claw around, not getting knocked back. However, Diamonds quickly engages in this vortex when it comes out. Diamond is looking pretty damn low here. His passive does proc and uh, immediately dies. Wait, hello? Gorgon's spinning claw does end all the way through, which gives them the uh, it's like a small wow effect and heals his units if you can loot. Gorguts. So, if you loot with Gorguts, he gains uh, a thing. It doesn't really have a name for it, but uh, he fires a bunch of rockets in the air and everyone's all happy because they can retreat faster and gain some, some health. Anyways, we do have a, a ton of shooters. Still, shooters being produced out of this uh, boy side here. And I wonder how many shooters she's going to be able to uh, produce for. Uh, they get caught in some AOE because uh, I'm pretty sure Bobby Bu. I mean, early game Bobby Bu looked pretty damn good, but now you know Sia's answering back somewhat. I mean, the map is completely blue. Not gonna lie, Sia's not looking good at all. But uh, if she continues with this build and you know keeps it up, not lose any units like she has been. I don't know. Don't. I'm not losing hope in orcs. You know I love them orcs, but uh. Can't deny that Space Marines late game is pretty damn powerful, especially once you have Ironclad. We'll see how it goes. A listening post is active. He's playing very passive, as you can tell. He's he's kind of letting the orcs dominate here, and I'm not I'm not saying it's a bad thing. There's a lot of wild going on, and again, another wild. So we have Storm Boys and Gorguts on the field, still not losing many units at all. I still can't control click all these guys. I know you should be able to. Fortunately I can't, but uh one, two, three, four, five, six. So two of them are gonna go to the left side and uh four of them following Warball score guts. The majority of Bobby Abuse units is gonna try to defend this left side. Stormboys do engage in this hour. Flamers and frags right on top of that. These two are retreating and Stormboys, ooh, just in the last second there. Suicide bomb out of that. Now engaging from the flank here. Gorgut's initiating with his Q. Some stick bombs do come out. Now Spitting Claw. Ooh. I don't know if that was a misclick, but Spitting Claw was not used. Still able to use it though. Looks like these guys are a bit out of position or are safe. The one that's out of position right now is actually Gorgut's. Gorgut's trying to retreat here. And uh. Oh no, getting caught up in some fire and some grenades. The Q is up. There it goes to Q. Longest range possible. Flying right over Kill Team Iron Man. Now realizing that, you know what, my squads are here. Maybe I'm going to be able to engage in the Storm Boys. Are out, but the Shooter Boys are here. Trying to deal whatever damage they can. I do hear Death Storm. Death Storm is going to be able to deal damage to the Watar. Maybe even the Shield Generator, but definitely cutting off the, uh, the escape route here. I don't think she's gonna escape anytime soon. She's definitely gonna be able to win this battle. I don't know why she's retreating so early. You can win this fight 100%. She, uh, she's walking right into the death storm here. Gorgot's almost taking a dive after the queuing out again. Maybe that's what she saw. She probably felt paranoid at one point. Like, you know what? I'm sticking around way too long. Given the uh, space screen player Bob U Bu enough time to maybe wipe Gorguts and or my units. And now we're taking damage to the shield of the shield generator with some heavy boulders and death storm. There's a sneaky little tackle marine in here. Everything that's red belongs to Bob U Bu, so still dominating the map here. Death Storm is finally down. Gorguts went all the way back to HQ. If you don't know, you actually heal four times faster at any HQ unit with your elites. If you don't know, now you know. We do have another Watt Tower going off. These Tactical Marines here to give information and information only. Looks like the Iamides shooing away some Storm Boys. I always call them Storm Boys. Shooter Boys. There was a Tactical Marine in there. Now it's gone. Holy moly. It's like a horde. 
These heavy boulders does, do not stand a chance. Delete it. Goodbye. Next. Bobby Bue kind of missing out here. Not microing them at all. And he's gone as well. Nicely set up there, but there was really no reinforcements for them. I don't know what he was thinking. Storm Boys back again. Last time they died, it was right here. Trying to engage on a heavy bolter and a bunch of units that actually threw grenades on them, stunning them up. But they are back. And uh, she's really relying on this one resource point. Could upgrade it, but uh, possibly saving that money for something else. Wad does go off. This is the fifth Wad Tower, so you are going to get that extra bonus. Actually, that's from the bonus with the Gore Guts, as you can tell. It's a healing Wad. So whenever a successful wild goes off, you're able to heal some of your units. Looks like the majority of the shooter boys are gonna go. She's waiting on maybe the space marines initiation on something. Saving the majority. God, that is a lot of shooter boys. Holy! And that resource point is gone. Looks like we sent some storm boys towards the middle. Diamond is not answering to this. Drop pause down, Kilty Armor shows up. Gonna jump out of there. And looking pretty good, looking pretty safe. But the listening post is gonna get built mid. Diomedes, Tactical Marines, and Kill Team Armor moving up on this Storm Boy unit. Storm Boys are gonna be able to make it up, but holy crap, look at this. That is an Orkin dream right there. That is a ton of shooter boys. And they're upgraded too. Hell of a job. Good micro out of Saya. This listening post is gonna take that. Looks like she canceled it just in time. But this Gretchen is gonna see its maker. Looks like she's trying to answer to that, but just a bit passive there, not responding fast enough. Looks like something's being built. There is the dock hut. 19, almost 20 minutes in, now building a dock hut. Look at this. I just checked the minimap and there's what you want. That is exactly what you want. I hear a bunch of grenades going on. Uh, okay. Yeah, there was a Doctrine Chapel here the whole time, but I don't think he was building out of this. He was building out of this one right there. And uh, being that there's a whirlwind, he does have a machine cult somewhere. There it is. Arsenal is being built as well. Let's check out what they have currently upgraded and or produced. We have infantry damage number one. Health number one. Uh, Check out the battle before we get into that. Looks like this listening post again, not allowing her to build that defensive point. Holy! Oh, one does spray down some of that ballistic. I don't know damage. I guess you could say. Every time you see that, you, every time you hear that wah, when look back at the Space Marines, they just have that back turned and just run away from it. Just gotta time that right. If you're a space where you just have to know when to engage and or win the engagement. Oh baby. Again, this looks like that Gore Bombs combo. Storm Boy's being sent to the left there. To harass that point. God, that's a lot of bombs coming out. Immediately retreating once you see that red dot, not knowing what's inside, and then turning around and engaging on this. Looks like that tactical marine came and said goodbye. Here another one cutting off the escape route here smashing into every single orc Saya has whirlwind did not do as much damage as he's helped for Gorgut's now retreating with mass units here whirlwind again missing completely that would, would have been such a good engagement for Bobby Abu but definitely messing up there slightly mistiming the whirlwind that is a hell of a lot of shooter boys holy there's a big difference between Marines and Orcs. If you want to know what it is, look at the population. These guys only cost 7 pop. So if you can look at the population, Space Marines have 71 out of 150, while Orcs only have 95. So they are a lot cheaper to make. So looking at the currency right now, minus 126 versus... Well... The more units die, obviously the less population <laughs> and or code is he gonna get. But you gotta be careful with that pop. Engaging now really damn heavy here. These uh tank busters were built 
a good idea to have tank busters, especially around this time, because, you know, late game, heavy armor units, but, uh, really, really badly done there. No, I don't know what that was. They were just kind of sent out there. Those are the only tank busters she had. She's now producing another one. I don't know about that one. I have to build two more. Not a problem, really. She's somehow... It's, it's just this one resource point, to be honest. Oh, there's another one actually being built. A listing post. No resource point and or generator on your ironclad. I just saw ironclad walk on the field here. Now hiding inside this stealth cover. The majority of her units, however, is going to the right. This is going to be such a bait. I don't know what she caught, but it's dead. Oh. She's this retreating. Is this is such a bait. Standard comes down. That means he wants to engage on this. And indeed he is. Here goes another wow. If she gets caught in this combo, it's going to be absolutely devastating. The Q for the slam. This assault launch is going to wipe. Oh no. I hope. I kind of want to see her get absolutely smashed here, but I hope she's going to be able to dodge this. This is going to be so devastating. He's moving out the ironclad. All those stick bombs, though. Ironclad stepping up. Here comes the. Oh, only two. Only two units got caught in that. I think the, the second she saw that freaking unit come out of that cover, she was like, you know what? Now nah, I'm out. I'm good. I'm going to stick inside this, this cover inside. No damage really being done because he is considered heavy armor. Here comes the uh, barrage and or assault launchers. Whirlwinds. No damage being taken because she's inside that. But now finally popped. The shield of the shield generator finally popped. Having to respect that damage. Stepping to the side and now probably reinforcing as fast as she can. She does do that. We have no, no real threat and or damage towards this. We have one tank buster. Two tank buster units. Probably focusing down on this Gorguts and Storm Boy, trying to help out and keep them down here as long as possible so these boys can deal damage to them. Oh, Bobby View looking really bad. Really bad. He is in a bad, bad spot. It's like these whirlwinds. I kind of forgot about the whirlwinds, to be honest. The spinning claw did finish with, again, getting that healing done. Looks like Bobby View is a bit desperate here, keeping his low units around. Rowan's just kind of splash damaging nothing really. The Daka Hut took a bit of damage. Maybe this the unit here and there. Oh boy, that, that kind of scared me actually. <laughs> the heal off that Wa Tower. I felt like I dropped a few frames on that one. Good God. Oh no, Ironclad running for his life, never realizing, you know what? I might not. I probably have to stay here. Nice little combo. Because he has. Wait, what's the cooldown on that? He's not gonna use it. He's not gonna use it. Oh my god. <laughs> when they launched nicely done there again, getting the hell out of there. I think what she did was she kind of moved her units around so it would be harder for Bobby Abu to aim his whirlwinds. And uh, did avoid a lot of it. You know what? <laughs> Not from nothing, Saya avoiding all those whirlwind shots, knowing that that could be devastating and completely put her behind. She is rocking these shooter boards, and it feels like she's utilizing that Gore Bombs combo really damn well. Letting Gore Guts, you know, kind of tactically move him around, taunt whatever he can, just kind of soak the majority of the damage, make sure that the shooter boy is going to stay alive. Stone Boy is not following up on this group here. And she's able to push back and gain this resource. Also, this one. Not too sure about here, but no threat, really. She's currently rocking seven points. Oh, like Thor Guts was able to spin his claw. That's how you do it. You spin your claw first, and then you want to engage. And see what you can do with that. Try to keep it up as long as possible, because once that goes down, as you can tell by this meter here. That's gonna pop off and heal you and get a little bit of walk. Storm boys over here harassing the left side of the map as well. As you can tell by the mini map, the majority of the space marines are towards the right. Respecting the wa again, we have a last cannon and the two whirlwinds are still alive. No danger to be honest. 
they would have to fight through the line first to be able to get back to that heavy artillery the Space Marines have. Listening Post is taking her here with these three tackle Marines. And it doesn't look like he has much, to be honest. Looking at this, here comes the population difference. 104 out of 250. And look at look, look at the bonus here. All right, negative 146, negative 202. Kill team, Iron Wall, ready to deploy. It's only 50 requisition difference. To be honest. She's beating him by so many units. So many units. Immediately back that up. Storm boys. Where are the storm boys? They're back here. Where are these tank buses going? Hello? Kind of just throwing them into the battle, but maybe she's trying to bait out that that whirlwind. Not really getting getting a few here. Not bad. Not bad. This dreadnought in heavy cover, and then realizing, well, I better engage now before it's too late. Ah, the slam misses completely. Kill team Iron Man misses completely. Nicely done there, getting the hell out of there. Vortex grenades, catching one of them up. Please save me, he says, but that's go splat. And then for the revenge here, turning on Kill Team Iron Man, but then backing up immediately? If she would have slammed down that W on top of Kill Team Iron Man, I think that would have been a guaranteed kill, but just got to be cautious here. This, your entire game is relying on all this. Can't lose them. Oh, Whirlwind. Is he going to be able to predict this? Nice. Done here. Look at the damage coming out. I don't think he knows what's happening, but cleaning them up. Holy. <laughs> Some of these have like one health. My god. Not even reinforcing them. Because she's anticipating the Wah heal. We have a Dreadnought and Dayami slamming on this listening post trying to play the game of attrition and kind of just cut off some resources. Storm boys were able to cut off this point. And now just kind of idling here, taking a bit of damage, now realizing, you know what, I should move my Storm boys out of there. The Wad did pop, so where the hell did she send them? A little bit of healing done to them. And that's a really, really good idea because you're not wasting requisition to be able to reinforce them. Because reinforcing all these units is going to be a ton of money. A ton. So instead, she's utilizing the Wah heal, and uh, there's the big difference maker right there. So early on, Bobby B was able to call in two, and then a three drop. So that's five elite points, and then waiting for the seven drop. You're already wasting like 12 elite points right there. She went four, two, and then nine. And then she went for Gorgats first, for the big difference maker first, to be able to stand that early harass. Oh, not losing any units to that world and that world one's kind of just trying to guess I mean Bobby and Bue should know that nothing is around here it's all being built back here he's visited here he's been here before being number one you should know that <laughs> a little bit of trash talking never hurt anyone looks like Diomedes is stepping back here Dreadnought I mean look at the sheer roster amount that versus that. Do we have a death dread? Now, the reason why she has so many uh, corrections is just to be able to you know, build listing posts and whatnot. Here comes a big engagement. Gorgon's with Spinning Claw already. He got muted to Morkanon. Oh, buddy. Nice whirlwind here. Catching up a lot of the shooter boys. However, this dreadnought is going to say bye bye. Yep, indeed. Rocket Fist straight onto the shield generator and then recalled immediately trying to respect the whirlwind stuff and then these attack marines hiding inside here the whole time trying to deal whatever damage they can and then immediately peeling them back you gotta remember that Peter the Morkana is a moving building we have storm boys over here <laughs> Bob if you put down <laughs> just put down the power generator now storm boys attacking this again Diami's on the side still poking at this listening post here as I said though you gotta remember Buter the Morkana is a moving sh uh, not shield but structure essentially you can reinforce your units around there but guess what she does not want to do that she does not want to waste requisition so instead she's gonna pull her units back and heal them with the wasp heal them with the spitting claw from Gorgut Power gen is gone. Looks like it was this Bobby View hanging on by thread here. We have so many death threads now too. 
these theft dreads, I don't think she's building them. She's actually building them out of the scrap with these, uh... These scratch, this scratch, this scratch has to be the one that keeps building these death dreads. Holy frame drop right there. A lot of water, a lot of healing. Oh, she's... <laughs> she's actually using two wads to be able to heal up as much as possible before engaging in the next fight. I'm actually kind of curious what our upgrades are so far, so... Hmm, infantry damage 2, infantry damage 1, suppressing no, cluster no, no power swords because no ASM. We have a bit of vehicle damage here for the uh, whirlwinds. So here comes the engagement. Death Dreads leading the way, followed by a bunch of ranged units. Every upgrade being built and or built out of Saya for the top side of the, the slots, I guess you could say. These tactical marines are gonna take out that resource gen. But she's ignoring that completely as she wants to engage in this and maybe go for the win here. We have so many tank busters, so many shooters, too many shooters to be honest. I don't know where that health went. Oh, buddy. The ironclad combo did come out. Is he going to be able to... Knocking him back slightly. I feel like these two death shots are just hacking at him. That thing is gone immediately, but so much damage out of this. The wrong one's coming out. Oh boy, this is the most shooters and looters she has probably lost. Not looters, but tank busters. This is actually looking pretty good for Bob Yubu. Might have overstayed her welcome here, but Dayami's in danger. Dreadnought in danger. Everything's kind of melting here because these guys are pretty damn safe. It's like these last kids not moving. No cues, no ability out of the uh, whirlwinds, and then just gonna walk them back again. Whoo, they're getting away with so little health every single time. That must be so frustrating. Bobby Bue just can't put the period at the end of the sentence. But he is continuously harassing. Now that's the only thing he can do. In the beginning, that was the only thing Saya could do. Was just harass points left or right and just seek the opportunity to leap forward. And this is what's doing it. Gorguts and the uh, Shooter Boys combo. That definitely put her ahead. Really nicely done here. We have so much scrap. Now, just look at the uh, the Gretchens. Look at the Gretchens right here. So much scrap. I bet you they're going to be death trades. They're both doing it at the same time. These two scrap piles right here, you're going to see two death dreads. One, two. That's how you do it. You don't waste a lot of resources to build your death dreads out of the, uh, where is it at? This sucker. You're not going to waste 225 power. If you can build death dreads, just you got to have enough. Holy moly, that's a lot of Gretchen's. <laughs> it's like, you just got to build a few Gretchen's. I look down and half the damn roster is Gretchen's. It's like Gorguts and a death dread trying to make it at, out of danger. Shield them, come out with Buda Demorcana, hop in the walk. Everyone gets healed, everyone gets their speed bonus. And uh, with that being said, Space Marines running away with their tail between their legs. Hmm. I think Bobby View might have been uh, depending on that early game a bit too much, even even by the build of his uh, his elites. This is pretty damn early. This is early game build. The fact that he was not able to finish her off early. I mean, he did a hell of a job. What else could he have done besides holding it off and making this game last longer? And now he has to deal with a beauty to market on. He has to deal with all these units. And she's utilizing this wall so damn well and not wasting any requisition. I mean, I can't even tell what units these are anymore. There's so much clutter, these <laughs> crutches are trying to heal beauty to market up as it's running away. Death Dreads leading the way Storm here. Boys reporting for duty, sir. Storm boys are able to get called on as well. Looks like we are engaging on this turret. Turret is shooting its first rounds right into four Death Dreads. Random grenades finding whatever unit it could. It did get stun locked here. Shockwave initiated on these Death Dreads. Last can trying to deal as much damage as they can, but the amount of damage. Saya is able to produce here. It's one, two, three rocket fist coming out, stunning whatever unit she can. And as you can tell, she has currently two waves of attack. She has her first wave, which is moving up front, and she has a wave number two back here just in case. She's stepping up. Beauty to Morkana currently at half health. One death dread left. She's not building anything else. She's kind of going in for the win. Look at all these. <laughs> 
so many directions. They are getting melted by this laser, but uh, she's holding off on this. Laser does not deal damage if you can capture that point. Turning off the power core here, and then right on top of that, we're gonna have Kill Team Armor trying to knock them back so he can get control of this laser can armor. <laughs> Oh, guys, make sure that does not happen. Bubble, bubble. The death bubble is out. Full beauty to Morkana. Shield is down. We have so many units still around, and I don't think Bobby View has anything. There's a few whirlwinds. Pocket is coming out, making sure whatever the hell that was, Predator is gone. We do have wave number two just in case, still in the back. Now, standard coming out. He's trying to buy some time. Beauty to Morkana almost taking a dive here, and that is a dead core. Woo! I tell you what, this is why they're both number one and number two. <laughs> that was a hell of a game. I couldn't believe that she was rocking the Gore Bombs combo. It seemed like it at first, but I couldn't tell. And then once I saw Gore got spawning first, before Storm Boys, and then seeing a hell of a lot of Shooter Boys, that was really good. I mean, out of Bobby Abu coming out so aggressive so early, some people just would not be able to... You know, withstand that, and Sire did a hell of a job. Not a Bobby Abu too. I mean, he was stand, he was stood a hell of a lot too. I just don't think that he was able to produce as much units as uh, as Sire, because Sire was not utilizing resources to heal up her units. That was a huge part. That's actually a mechanic I did not investigate as much as I should. Seeing this though, healing up from wild towers over and over, and kind of just stacking it. She used a while, was gonna run out, and then she came back and healed up again out of another wild tower. Like okay, I can see I can see that being pretty damn powerful. While in the meantime, a space marine has to utilize economy and resources to be able to heal up its units. You can see where the problem comes, and uh, she did it better. <laughs> Anyways, guys, see you guys next time. As already mentioned before this video even started, I am gonna live stream. I am gonna live cast. So if you want to stick around Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be doing live casts. Um, it'll be just like this, guys, and I will probably not focus as much on the chat, but I am going to stick around afterwards and before and just talk to you guys. If you want to just hammer me with questions and or just talk shit, that's fine. I mean, just hang out. Have a good time. If you have nothing to do Friday night, I'll be here for you. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace. Juice, get you.